Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? This is your daily reading. You guys already know that this reading could be a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind. All right. Also, please try to be open minded with your readings. OK, we all know that third parties cross watchers that you guys that may be watching this may be in reverse. OK, and that's OK. Put yourself where you are in the reading. But other than that, my beautiful Pisces. All right. Let's get into this reading, this daily reading, you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your love, support to the channel. Thank you guys for your likes, um, your shares, and new subscribers, old subscribers. What's up? All right. So this is the daily reading here. I hope that this message finds you and it gives you the clarity that you need, okay? All right. Let's see, Pisces. Let's go into your energy. Mm, okay, okay. And what's coming towards you? Okay, okay. All right, so Pisces, straight off the back, I'm seeing that you are, um, you know, hiding something, okay? You may be hiding. Um, it's like you're not really hiding or you're not. I feel like you're not really disclosing emotions and feelings um, about something. I feel like you want to offer something. I feel like you really do want to offer something of love and affection, but I feel like you're kind of like, you're not sure. You're not sure. You're like, should I should I make someone aware of something that I'm feeling within my emotions and feelings? Should I offer this? Whoever's coming towards you though, it could be a negative group of feel oh, okay. It could be like um it could be friends or family or a negative group of people. They're not your friends, they're not your people, they're not your tribe, they're not your soul tribe. Um, and I feel like you've been trying to make a decision if you should like offer your love, offer your, um, emotions and feelings to these people, or maybe even wear your heart on your sleeve with these people or be open and genuine and loving and offer that of yourself. Um, but whoever's coming towards you is someone who's not even like, they're not even receptive or open to that with you. And that's, that's messed up. That no wonder you were hiding something or you were holding back or not sure. You may I feel like you're having a hard time. Ooh, my shoe fell off. Sorry, guys. I, I'm sitting on the bar. I feel like you guys are having a hard time um, in regards to trusting your intuitions, in regards to your emotions and feelings about a certain person or a group of people. I do feel like this is a lot of group. I feel like this is a group. I feel like this is a lot of people. So I feel like, but these people are not welcoming, loving, they're not like supportive friends and just, they're just not a welcoming group of people. Like, it's like, you're trying to offer your love to people who are not welcoming you. You're not welcome here. Like, do we really want you in this circle? And it's not seeming like they are. So it's almost like, you know, yeah, I'm not seeing these are, you know, these are not, these are like frenemies. I got to keep it real. They're not, you know, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to just keep it real. And it's so weird though, because I feel like, um, it's so weird because the but whoever this person or these group is, they're wanting to invest in a situation here with you. So that makes no sense. They're invested and they want to invest in something with you or they're invested. Hmm. Interesting. They're invested in something here. Okay, you know what? I just heard something. Okay. Wow. It's like another storyline. I just see you being so loving and I see you being generous with your emotions and feelings, but I'm seeing that whoever's coming towards you are um, people who don't deserve this. They don't deserve this love. They don't deserve this affection. And um, there may also be, I hate to say it, for some of you guys, there may be like, you may be dealing with somebody that you want to offer love to, but then they may have like friends and a group of people around them that is affecting how much they're investing in a situation with you. Let's keep it real. Um, again, these may be their frenemies. They're, these may be people that uh, are someone else outside of you, friends and family and loved one. And it may be a conflict of interest in regards to, you know, um, they feel like, well, you know, if you love me, you would do this. Or if you cared, you would do this. And so it's not for your best interest, though. This is kind of crazy. It's not for your best interest. And I do feel like there's somebody that is really wanting to invest in a situation here with you. But then I feel like there's a group of people or a group of friends that are like really like um, making it kind of like awkward or weird. Two cards. How should Pisces be coming towards the situation? Yeah, basically. Wow. 
Right. Okay. Let me let me explain this to you. So I feel like you're trying to compromise. I feel like you're really trying to find a way. You're trying to hang in a situation. You're trying to compromise with someone. But the, the issue is that you're trying to come. You're tr oh, my goodness. I hate this for you. I'm so sorry that this is happening to you. And I can see why it's so hard for you to trust your own self, your, your intuition, your higher self, because you're trying to come out of conflict. You're trying to be amicable. You're trying to be understanding, loving, caring. You're trying to nurture or foster something here with the people who don't like you, who don't want you around, um, who's kind of like, you know, well, you're not a part of this circle energy. They're frenemies or, you know what I'm saying? They don't, that's really messed up. And and if it's like someone that you're connected to in love and romance, that person is really wanting to invest in a situation here with you, but they have people like behind them telling them what to do, feeding them lines on how to communicate and how to talk to you and what to say. Yeah, we have strength here. Right. They're letting someone push them or feed them information about you or how they should be interacting with you or you shouldn't be going around there by yourself. You shouldn't be in that person's energy. You don't need to be anywhere with that person by yourself. So it's kind of crazy. There's people in this energy that just won't let something go. They're still crying over spilt milk. They still are not able to just recover from that and just, you know, try to be in a better atmosphere here with you. So this could be like if you got into it with a group of people or friends, but you're friends with someone else or you have a connection to someone else in that group, they don't want you to be around. They're like, no, you, they don't want that person to be around you. They're like, no, you shouldn't hang around that person. You shouldn't be around that person because they can't get over something because they're still disappointed because they're still wallowing, self wallow or self pity, something like that. They're still like, oh, they're still like, yeah, that's what they're doing. And it's a group of people that's doing that, like get over it. But they are like, no, we're not going to get over this. And there's something that affect them emotionally or how they feel. Um, and they may feel like you've done something bad to the person that they love, but then you and that person made up and that person is trying to invest in you and maybe even be positive, maybe wanting to have a reunion or being around you. But they're saying, no, you shouldn't go over there. You shouldn't be with that person or you shouldn't be alone with that person or you shouldn't be friends with that person anymore. But you're trying to be loving and, um, you're trying to offer your love and emotions and you're trying to be amicable. So you're trying to surrender. You're trying to be more emotionally, you know, open to something or a situation here. So the advice here that I have with the five of swords and the five of cups, Pisces, like I really just kind of feel like at the end of the day, change is a good thing. Okay. Five speaks of changes. And I feel like this is very positive. I love this. I feel like this is you also taking accountability and also being able to because fives are a group of people. It's a big, big group of people. And it's being able to overcome conflict and not letting other people affect your emotions and affect you mentally. And I love that because I feel like now, <laughs> I feel like what Spirit is saying that you don't have to do what other people are doing. You don't have to feel like other people are feeling. It's, you know what I'm saying? Because all the fives are all about a, a lot of people in this chaos and conflict or this emotional, you know, situ mental conflict and c emotional conflict. And spirit is saying, you don't have to, to, to be a part of that. You know, um, they want you to continue to choose to surrender to that. You know, the five of swords is about surrendering. You know, the hangman is about surrendering. And I feel like that's what spirit wants you to do. You can't change other people, but you can change the way you feel about something or the way you're thinking about it. And that's what spirit wants you to do here. I love this message and I feel like it, and I hope it helps. I feel like this is very like important for you here. I hope this helps and assist you in some way, you guys.